So we'll get a full wheelbarrow mate and then we'll do your wheelbarrow awareness course. What is up everybody and welcome back and once again you join me on this job site. So it's five past eight, I'm just waiting for Harry and another lad but I'm currently here with Will. Uh, so we're just having a coffee, preparing ourselves for the day. Then we will continue on from uh, where we left off and I'll show you where we are now. So guys we will be continuing where we left off uh, today. We will be dragging all that loose material back with the digger, uh, digging out that back area also. Uh, getting the Type 1 in too. I think I'll probably do the Type 1 first because then that will give us a sort of solid base with the wheelbarrows to get up to the back area for when we're digging that out. So I'll probably continue with the Type 1, get that all down first job this morning, then we'll move on to scraping this back and doing that area back there. But yes, that's the plan. Guys, there is a vital flaw with the machine. Where's my cap holder? I know it's only a little in, but I want a cap holder. Like, give me some ink. This isn't good. Not a good start to the day. I have to put the coffee down. Not what I'm used to in a digger. gonna get a lift up with and the person who's gonna come and do a day's work has failed us I mean I don't know what to say I told Harry look I don't want this boy coming to work for me it's my fault at the end of the day because I told him I was like I've worked with the dad I've worked with the, what I think is the eldest why would I work with one, want to work with one of the youngers they were both lazy and now look what's happened so I guess moral of the story is guys don't trust anyone it's your business make your own judgments because it's just setbacks, it's diesel, it's time, it's and it's just a bit frustrating. Like I've just been let down by providing boys. It's like we're coming to do a day's work. I'm offering them the day's work, I'm providing them with the opportunity to come and gain experience, grow with the business, and that sort of thing, and I'm just being knocked on the head with a hammer. It's it, it's just getting a bit stressful. Right guys, so the type 1 is mostly down now, uh, we've got a rough level on it, we're going to whack plate it down, uh, see where we're at with it, if we need to add any in any low spots we will. We've only used uh, 3 bags so far, we have another 3, so uh, yeah we're coming along quite well, I will expect another bag to be going in this area here, there is a low spot here, uh, and we obviously need some for back there as well, so we're going at a good rate, a nice walkway for the wheelbarrows now. So we're gonna have no problem and the digger can just be sat on the stuff that I'm taking out. So I think that is gonna be the plan moving forward. But I'm gonna get the whacker plate on the go now. 
Give it its first going over. So we'll get a full wheelbarrow, mate, and then we'll do your wheelbarrow awareness course. Yeah, get another wheelbarrow there, mate. Anyway, guys, I'm setting this up for Will's wheelbarrow awareness course. We obviously need to make sure we're all compliant and following uh, legislation. Right. So this is for health and safety. We've got Will doing his wheelbarrow awareness course. So that's it, mate. Over the slab, yeah. round the bricks. That's it, slalom them bricks. Slalom them bricks. That's it, mate, and come back on yourself. <laughs> oh, that's it, mate. Round the bricks. We'll buy awareness course, that's it. For the health and safety. Oh, over the slab, can't, can't miss it. Yep, yep, now up the ramp, mate. Now up the ramp. And well done, you just completed a course that doesn't exist. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, I've fallen. <laughs> oh, 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 boys. Oh, I have to. Sorry, Will. You took that quite well. I'll give it to you. <laughs> oh. You're technically the apprentice, and there's always a little bit of that, eh? So after that laugh, guys, I've told the boys they can have a little 15 and have a coffee. <laughs> it's about 10 past 10. I'm going to continue work, start whack plating this. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to have a break. I'm just going to keep working and keep pushing and get this job done. So we have started off the whackering. I get that all nice. There's a couple of low blocks, a couple of bits I'm gonna have to go over there. I haven't even touched because it's still a bit low, I'm seeing. So we're getting there now, but uh, our attention is gonna switch. The rain is coming in and we need to get this area dug out before the digger goes back tomorrow. So obviously with the rain upon us and now the weather potentially turning, I, I need to get it all dug out. So our priority now will be on, of, on this. It's uh, really not the end of the world if I don't have the digger for just moving the gravel and uh, the rest of the type one round. Uh, it's been nice to have the digger, but it's not an essential with that. They're fairly easy to maneuver by hand. At least, you know, all the digging out will be done with the digger because there's no way we were going to dig, you know, 10 yards of material out by hand. Just, you know, it's what, 11 ton? It's not going to happen, is it? Not in the time frame we was working with and the conditions we were working with. So, yeah, really beneficial we got the digger. So the job is going to be getting the digger in there, pulling that back once and for all. Right guys, so I've just put the grading bucket on the digger. I am gonna track my way up and track my way back down in my digging area and then start scraping the material back, going on a final grade, uh, getting a nice finish and working my way down. Uh, all around here will be this afternoon's work.
Alright guys, so just to give you a little update, it's been a while since we've checked in. Uh, we're digging all that out ready for the, you know, circle uh, gravel area to go in. With obviously the brickwork edge and that sort of thing. You can kind of see the curvature and the idea of what we're doing here. It's a bit rough around the edges here at the minute. So, yeah, we've also got a sleeper or two sleepers to go in the back to raise this area up. And then I'll be flattening and leveling this out. So we've obviously got get two sleepers in there and secure them. Uh, I'm keeping that dirt there, you know, because I'm going to need a little bit because uh, I'll uh, pull the top off, all the grass, all the old, and then just, you know, backfill it with just dirt. So I've got some good reusable dirt here. I'm now working my way just round, uh, final, finally round here, getting all the stuff pulled out. Uh, it's been a bit of a challenge though, the roots and that sort of thing has been proven to be a bit of a nightmare in this area, but yeah. Uh, we're getting there guys, we've got this that needs to be carted round to the skip slowly and then a bit of work around the edges with a shovel and this area will be ready for the wild garden for the customer and this area will be ready to uh, get some type 1 in. Looking all lovely, right, moving round to this area, I wasn't 100% sure what the customer was going to do with it so I did leave it out the quote, however we've come to an arrangement, we're getting it dug out. Uh, and yeah, the customer has made up their mind now. And now they're seeing work done, I think they're getting more of a scope and more of a picture of what they want doing. So that's really good. But yes, yes, there was uh, lots of talk about other work as well, guys. Maybe the lawn being redone and a couple of other bits, but uh, you know. The wet weather we had earlier on in the week, you know, it wasn't ideal. And without the weather, it would have this job would have been plain sailing. It really would have. And maybe I should have got this job booked in for maybe sort of end of March, maybe the end of April. Would have made a little bit more sense. But the customer wanted it done by then. That was the only reason I sort of chose to do it now. Because obviously, once we're done with the work we're doing, there is potentially other work here. Obviously, we're going to have to be getting topsoil into these beds. Uh, there's going to be lots more. I, whether or not I get the work, I'm just here putting the path in and getting everything dug out. Uh, that's the conversation I'm going to have to have with the customer, but I'm feeling hopeful, and the way I've handled certain situations makes me think I will. So, yeah, I'm feeling really hopeful, but let's just keep pushing. And, uh, yeah, I want to show the customer that I can get the results, that I'm capable, and that, yeah, I'm not, not, not a melon. So, that's the main thing, guys. We are really getting Right, guys, so the project is really, really starting to come together now. I'm extremely happy with how it's coming. Just look, you can start to see how it's coming together. Uh, I've put a smile on my face already. Uh, but for the rest of today at least, we've just got, I'll spin round, a couple of loads of muck there that we've got to get to the skip. The skip's basically full. Uh, we might be overfilling it a little bit if I'm honest, but given what happened in the previous video with the skip company, I don't think they're gonna mind it being a little bit overloaded. Uh, I think that's gonna be the least of their worries. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this one up there, guys. So if you like, please like, subscribe, and remember, if your garden's looking worse for wear, call Hampshire Endorset Garden Care. Have a good evening, guys.